Okay, I'm here in the field. I'm almost to the part where we're cutting. We're gonna throw on the GoPro so you guys can get just how even mobile, mobin, going mobile in these is like, I'm at maximum level just going down the road that gets to the field. Granted, I'm almost to the field. I'm very close. So this is the field we've been working on. It's just me and Drew over here working on it while Jamie and Josh, the other two combine drivers, are off with a different bank out driver on a different field. Meanwhile, we work on this one. I'm not sure what the reasoning is. I think it's the long drive to the bank out, for the bank outs or the grain carts. Yeah, I don't know why we call them bank outs. It's just, it's a thing. It's what we call them. There's a video on the internet, why are they called bank outs? It's something about rice fields, or rice, um, moving rice around. I have no idea. Near a bank, a river bank. No river bank here, I see. So, the bank outs is just too far. That's what I'm trying to say, it's just too far. For four combines cutting out this far, we need more bank outs than three. Really, four bank outs, four combines. That's usually the, uh, the equation. We've got three big combines, one small combine. We've got two big bank outs and one small bank out. So, math doesn't work out. That's fine. Ah, there it is. The last of the pieces. It's actually technically three little ones, but we'll call that the last one. When it gets real bouncy, I like to put my header down on the ground. So maybe the feet or the, the tires absorb some of the weight of the fall. And then sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't like the sound that makes. So then I raise it back up. That's pretty much my all day. I'm like, I like to do it this way. Well, maybe I don't have to do it this way. This one's supposed to have a bank out road somewhere. What is that? It's annoying. I'm easily annoyed out here in the fields. So oh, this is the Fire. field. I'm just gonna start cutting around it. Make a bank out road somewhere. I don't know where the bank out road in this field is supposed to be at. So, rev her down. Rev it down. Separator engage. Header engage. Suck up all that dirt that I blew into the header earlier. Lift it up so that's easier to do. Rev it up. Tripping it back and forth so that maybe some, uh, some stuff runs through it that doesn't normally. Put the header on the ground, because this wheat is short. Like, look at this number right here, four. Four is the highest you could press down on the ground. So I'm looking for a three or a two. And then once I get it to three or two, then I level it back and forth to try to find level. So that way, uh, it's equal. It's equal everywhere. That looks too fast. Slow down the reel just a little bit. In the morning, it doesn't thrash quite as well. So I watch my tailings. It used to be that we'd kick up the rotor in the mornings for a little while, maybe close the concave down and uh, let it thrash better. But I wasn't told to do any such thing, so I don't do it. 
Here comes the bank out down the bank out road. Hey, everybody around here calls them bank outs. Let's just get over that right now because I'm not going to call them grand cards. Uh-oh. Somebody owes Ron one. One what? I don't... One mouth hug? Probably. Isn't that what a man wants? What a man needs is a mouth hug? This looks like a good place for a bank out road. You make a bank out access at that draw, or did you follow my mark? Well, I think I'm gonna make one. Oh, Josh, not me. I just followed you. I don't know what this field's about. That draw right there, though. Up a little bit, make sure nobody's behind me. I'm gonna go up this draw. Yeah, then hopefully we can get around there and get access out. I'm gonna turn on four wheel assist before I even try to climb this. I'm in second gear. Second gear doesn't like to climb. I don't know if you guys were watching the video yesterday. I was like, come on, come on, machine. When I'm saying that, I want it to go and it's not going because hydrostatic transmission, second gear doesn't have a whole lot of torque so it just is what it is you got to shift it down or you can cheat by putting it in four over here you can see the lights that's on it's got rear wheel assist so I could turn on the rear wheel assist that slows me down a little bit and lowers my gearing or something like that the range I don't know so then I'm able to uh, climb the hill and then if high four high doesn't work I'll put it in four low which is taking off this and so that's not lit up the other one, tractors have a foot pedal down here. Whoa, Trevor. I'm trying to find the bottom of this draw. This ain't it. <laughs> no. Yeah, the bottom's over there. Yeah, so we'll go over there. So you want to go past where they turn. See how the furrows are turning now? That means I should go back. But I don't want to do it yet. I want to go up a little bit farther, not just to cut out this thing, this, this low area here. Not just for that, but it's also just so it's easier to turn next time. So I'm going to swing right a little bit to make a keyhole. It's really bumpy right here because I'm going against the furrows. So I slow down. I really did not pick the bottom of this. No, far from picking the bottom, I picked the wrong angle. But I think I could cheat and just press down hard and let it drape, let it flex drape. There's Drewski. Big Drew Daddy is his asshole name. <laughs> Big Drew Daddy is his nickname that he wants, but I'm calling him Big Asshole Daddy. <laughs> He's not mean to me. He's not an asshole to me. But, uh, 
I just think it's funny. I mean, what's in a nickname? What's it really mean? <laughs> so how'd you get your nickname, big asshole daddy? You got a big one or what? <laughs> I cracked me up. Now that I followed the furrows sufficiently, I do believe that I can keep going the way I was going. Again, I've only sprayed this field, and when I spray, I just kind of go wherever I want to because the furrows don't mess me up. I got huge tires, not a lot of complexity, just, just going. This, there's a lot of complexity to the machine. There's a lot going on inside this machine. So it's best not to go too fast in it. The neighbors, the Irwins, they haven't started cutting the wall yet. I hope I'm gonna get over there. I need to talk to Randy. I need to get over there and record them cutting so the people down in Wasco can catch my drift that this ain't the steepest. Of course it's not. This is just another hill. This isn't this, we got a lot way steeper. I bet we do too. Well, you think I got this GoPro on 24 seven that I'm the one in this combine cutting the steep shit? No, hello. It's somebody else's job. Somebody in a smaller combine. Here's another draw. I don't know how far that one goes up. That needs to be cut out too. I'm not sure if I got enough room in my tank for all that. But I'm gonna, cause I don't wanna drive over this. It's so soft right there. Yeah. There's, I didn't leave much uh, straw there. Whoops, should have left more straw. Cause it's so light right there. Like there's already not much straw and then I go and cut it to the ground and then don't leave any straw. Yeah. I'm skipping right there, now I'm good. This is the hardest part of this cutting draws out is trying to figure out which, which is the bottom furrow. Like is that it? No. There we go. Now I'm on the very bottom. Probably because I'm bridging in the middle. Now I'm not. There we go. Oh, yeah, I am. Push down. Down. 10 pounds down. Ten pounds down and one pound up. That's two pounds. It's showing two on this. That's not true. There's more than that going on. And then I'm already smelling something hot, so that's a good start. These things just smell hot, though. Ooh, what was that? What's that? <laughs> so I lift it up. When in doubt, I lift up when I hear weird sounds. So again, the furrows turn, they go that way. So I'm gonna go past it a little bit and then make my turn. I've got a pile of dirt going over there.
just pushing. I'm not even cutting that shit. I'm pushing a pile of dirt. So let's try this again. Push it down, don't push it down too hard, Trevor. And then make my turn. Alright, back to cutting, back down the draw. Drew ain't even flashing yet. I should be starting to flash. I ain't flashing. I didn't even hear it go off. I didn't hear it say full. Drew, you got a copy? How full am I? Okay, yeah, because it, there, now it says full. I didn't hear the three quarters thing. Uh, now it just says I'm full. Okay, thank you. Yeah, once it says you're full, you can cut for another maybe a couple hundred yards on a bad year. This is a bad year. <laughs> this is not the bottom of this draw either. Far from it. But I'm doing it anyway. I missed the center of this so badly. <clears throat> That's okay. I'm going to go back and cut this again. But I can't. I'm fucking pushing down on that side, pushing down on this side, and just bridging in the middle. <laughs> Leaving a good little trench over there. That's not really what I want. Not really what I'm trying to do. Well, when you're digging on both sides, I mean. Now that I think that they're not coming right away. Well, there's a bank out here the whole time. There's a bank out here. Um, I don't want it. I don't know why that thing's going so fast right now. It's supposed to go 0 0.2 miles per hour when I'm going slow. Or it's supposed to go as if I'm going 0 0.2 miles an hour. Bridge both ways, going in and going out. Turn off my four wheel drive. Hopefully he pulls underneath me. Now I get empty and keep going around the outside.
Okay, now I'm going up here, up this draw. I'm just cutting out this field, this next piece. It's kind of a microcosm of a big piece. This field's not very big. So I run up the bottom of these draws. That's basically what I do. Because these are hard to cut, and we don't want the water coming off them. So, so the water doesn't run down. We see them this direction, along the hill. So that way runoff doesn't happen, and we don't erode too much the hillsides. It still happens, boom, so it doesn't happen too much. And then uh, we cut it the same way. So you cut it, the bug. You cut it the same way that uh, you see it. You just got to do it. So I stick the bottom of my header down in the bottom of the draw. This one's pretty steep, so it's more obvious maybe. Like I'm at maximum level. People are like, oh, it's not level very much. Well, no, this is pretty steep. <laughs> Like, my combine's still level, so that's how you know it's not that steep, but, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll fast forward and cut really fast between me talking. Zoom, 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 blah, 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 blah. Zoom, 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 zoom. Might be a cool effect. So this draw actually cuts off the piece on the left from this piece on the right. This piece on the right's a small little hill. This piece on the left is a bigger piece. It's probably four or five times as big. So I cut off one from the other, then work on the one. The furrows go that way, but the draw goes this way, so I'm gonna follow the bottom of the draw. I'll back up and I'll smooth out this corner. I don't know. I think I'm actually smoothing it out pretty good right here. Yeah, I'm going to smooth that off. I'm looking in my mirror. I rounded that off hard. So, or squared it off hard. real into following the furrows. Don't anybody back up the way I'm backing up. Nobody do this. Don't do what I do. Do what I say to do. Don't ever back up in the field. You never want to back up. That's like day one nonsense. It's like, hey. So it looks like right here is where I should have started making a turn. So I'm going to take the turn. Go up that way round this off, and then once I round this off, then I'll come back down and draw that way. Gotta be on the ground, though, to round it off. I actually cut the weed. This is gonna stay a corner for Probably about five seconds. Or it's probably going to keep from being a corner for about five seconds. And then that'll be a corner. But for now, that worked. So this is the neighbor's field right here. It's the edge of our stuff, so I don't go out there. I don't need to go into their stuff. Skip and a jumping and a bebopping, bouncing. Scary feeling when you don't shut off the rear wheel assist going down a hill in these things. I'll tell you right now. 
and then in second gear you shut it off and it goes full speed ahead like way faster than it should in first gear with rear wheel assist on it's like 3.5 and then 4.3 without it and this it's like five with it and then like nine without it so if i shut off i'm floored at five if I shut off rear wheel assist, it instantly goes up to nine miles an hour, which is too fast. I like to go fast, it's too fast. you guys stop everything stop harvest I lost my phone there it is okay harvest resume and now I get out the phone so I can videotape this they're finishing up that field up there get the next field ready to cut next few fields small fields down here if you can imagine I uh, I have a lot of backup hard drives All right, so I'm getting full the next bank out shows up because he's already taken two dumps he can take one more and he'll be full you can tell him when I'm focusing I get real quiet Yeah, it's in a nutshell how you open up a piece. You follow the furrows. I'm one with the furrows. Me.